my minnows and welcome back to another lot of symptoms so um, today I'm going to do brittle bones and dry itchy skin uh, into a little secret these aren't my nails so I don't really know um, I don't have the brittle nails they are brittle underneath there's not a lot of them underneath really basically I will just do this and help Oscar sit down that's him making a little bed um, so I don't really know, but I do know, remember that my mum and my gran, that they, they used to have, their nails used to like sort of peel off and they used to get like lots of ridges in them and like white lines. Um, I do know that we can help this out with taking like calcium and taking more vitamins. So in the Menno Blend, um, my, that you, Meg's product that you can get online or whatever, Super Drug Boots, um, that has, um, um, calcium and vitamins in for your nails. Um, it's just one of those things, again, Mother Nature decided for us to do, give us brittle nails. Dry, itchy skin, well, that one, I have terribly, I mean, I used to always think, oh, why do old people carry hand cream? Why does my gran always have a pot of, remember that little old-fashioned blue Nivea cream? She used to always have that, and I remember there would always be that bit of tin foil, and it used to always annoy me why she never took the whole tin foil off the little Nivea tin, you probably, you probably get it, what I'm talking about. She would just peel it back and take a bit out, and I was thinking, why don't you pull that off? Anyway, that's probably me and OCD or something. But I would now, I know that, you know, if I go go to the toilet somewhere, the first thing I do when I look in the toilets, I'm like, have they got hand cream? Because if they haven't got hand cream, I'd be a bit like, oh God, if I'm gonna dry my hands, they're gonna be so dry. So now I have to carry hand cream. And it makes me laugh because it's one of those things, it's like when I'm leaving the house, I'm like, have I got my hand cream with me? I'm like, God, it really does make you feel old. I used to think people were just obsessed with their hands getting old. So that's the reason why people always wanted to have hand cream because, you know, everyone says, oh, you can always tell a woman by her age, by her hands. Now I know it's that feeling, dry hands. It's why I can't use dry shampoo. I think lots of people use dry shampoo. But when I, I touch my hair, as you know a, a lot, as we know, I've got ADHD, so I'm always moving and touching stuff. And when I get that dry shampoo on my hands, it drives me mad. So I'm always having to have hand cream. And then I notice that I always scratch my legs. Uh, I don't know that I'm doing it, but it's been pointed out to me many a times. Uh, I do this a lot and I scratch my legs a lot because I get dry, itchy skin. So from this, uh, what I try and do is um, a good, good work, cheap thing that I think is, is a really good thing to do is I, buy coconut, coconut oil in a tub and um, after I've had an Epsom salt bath at night I cover myself with coconut and it's great and it's just basically you can just slap it on all over this oil and it's really good and it just feels great and it's basically you know you just the whole night it's like your body can just suck that up. Um, because I notice that, you know, when I get undressed, I've actually got red marks where you can see where I've actually been scratching my arms. My, I do this a lot on my shoulder and on my thigh. These are the two places that I scratch a lot. And um, I thought, you know, people said, why scratching? Stop scratching. And I just thought maybe it's a nervous thing, but it's actually because you get dry, itchy skin. Um, I use Mio, M-I-O, which is my favourite skincare range, I'm just going to say it anyway, because it's organic and it's natural and it's unbelievable, and since I've been using it, I don't have um, dry, itchy skin, um, really, it's probably gone by 99%, um, but, um, you know, it's not the most cheapest thing in the world, so I don't want to say everyone go out there and buy it. But if you can afford it, it's great, but coconut oil is just as good. And also, as we know, it's completely natural, vegan, and organic, a lot of it is, and it's just very pure, so it's just great for putting all over. And also, you can rub, don't forget, all this stuff on your nails, you know, it, you know, on your nail beds, it's great to get all coconut in there, and on your toes, and don't forget, cracked heels are awful, that's another thing, getting older, I've noticed you know, that old people used to get hold of, and that's one of my pet hates. 
horrible dry cracked heel skin so make sure that you look after your heels there's nothing worse summer's coming up and um you know if you're in flip-flops or sandals and you see people with flaky heels not nice just get you know get a nice you know skull hardcore thing and make sure that every time you shower and bath that you look after your heels because it's um it's not nice to have dry flaky heels anyway guys hope you're having a good day i hope you have a good day and sending lots of love from meg's menopause bye